you just start off by introducing yourself? Yeah, so my name's Jemima Hughes. Um, I'm Birmingham based performance poet. And we've just been travelling around for the last couple of years doing some stuff. And today I'm in Hounslow. Just a, a build up of the last kind of 10 years of different things that had happened accumulated in a bit of a mental breakdown. And I never, I wasn't a writer before, didn't do poetry before that. I guess at a time when I was struggling to communicate verbally, I decided to start writing. I shared it with a friend first, started sharing it with my parents. The way I shared it with a friend actually was a voice recording, it wasn't, um, it wasn't written. I never wrote for someone to read it, I kind of wrote it with my voice saying it and with all the expression and with the anger and the bitterness and all the way you're feeling. So I uh, shared it over a voice recording and then he sent me a video of Neil Hillborn, classic. No, it just kind of put an idea in my head, I guess. That, that video just planted a bit of a seed of like, if I ever wanted to, that's a thing that I could actually do, like get up and speak the poems. So I just kept writing. I had a build-up of 10 years of words and things that I just wanted to say. It was like writing a diary, but I liked rhyming. So rhyming words went at the end of every other line. And there was always a rhythm. There was always a flow and a beat. You, you just get into a space and it just like becomes this thing. It just went up on a board and like bits would come down and it was a bit of a crazy time writing it. At first, there was no way I was ever going to speak them or perform them. I probably wasn't planning on speaking again, to be honest, the position I was in at the time. But after a few months, I went to Hit the Ode, which is a night in Birmingham. Ran on, did five minutes of the quickest I could speak and ran back off again. But I think it was probably just like the one or two people who kind of went me too afterwards. I was like, oh, okay, maybe this is something that's worth doing. Got lucky at one called Howl, which is in, was in Moseley in Birmingham. Um, a guy called Clive Oseman was there, asked me if I would headline his night in uh, Swindon called Ubi Hive with him and Nick Lovell. Because after that one performance he thought I'd come and do a set and it just went really well. I've got a, a lot to thank them for because I've done quite a lot of travelling around since then. It's been really fun. I would never have thought of oh, poetry night, that's what I'm going to do tonight. That sounds fun. Like people underestimate what they are. They just have such a, a stereotypical poetry night in their head I think. So I try not to write unless it really is like bottom of my heart, like depths of my soul, dark and twisted, but it's it's honest. If you write because you want to go and perform it to an audience, there's some filter that goes into it. I would say definitely write, but write as if no one's ever going to hear it. Because people write for hard hitting reasons, not always, but a lot of the time they do. You'll find that most of the people in that room get you. It's such a forgiving space and it's just such a safe space. And you realise that everyone in that room will speak to you. Everyone in that room will leave you alone if you don't want to speak to them. And yeah, just go, go to a night and see what the vibe's like because it's completely different to what people expect. What is your message for the world? Ooh, um, oh, listening is so important because if you feel heard when you're speaking, it saves lives to actually feel heard when you're talking, not just be like gazed at or, uh, you know, just like, or talked at by the other person. If you can help someone to feel heard when they're speaking, that could save lives, so that's my message, for sure.